All right, man. Are we on? Are we live? Do we're trying to get some bread. Are we? Are we considered live right now? I guess, but it's like live because it's actually recorded. Are we on right now, motherfuckers? <laughs> because by the time they see it, it's no longer live. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, but I mean, are we live? Like, as in, like, right now? You know? No, what I'm no, saying? we're live in this moment, but in their moment, like in their moment is not live. We're in the past. I got you. And they're in the future. Oh, man, so you want so to tell, me tell me the lottery tickets? You want What's to the lottery ticket? Yeah, so quick, George has one big New Year's resolution, and it's not like yours. Okay, okay. He doesn't want abs. He got abs. He doesn't want to lose weight. He needs to gain some weight. Yes. He doesn't want to look pretty. He needs to look. What do you want to look? Wavy. Wavy. Get it? Wavy, get it? Wavy. Because George's New Year resolution is to get waves. Yes, and yes. I don't. I don't mean like like you know jump on the wave, vibras, vibras. No, no. I mean like. Nappy hair don't care. Like, that yeah, kind of yeah. way. I that's, that, that's a little racist, I think. Nappy hair don't care is a little racist. I have nappy hair and I don't care. You don't have nappy hair. You don't have nappy hair. Yeah, you definitely have nappy hair. I don't have nappy hair. I think, I think okay, okay. So what do you so, define as nappy hair? I, that's hey, second of all, how is that the racist? The only time we talk about, because you're saying that only, uh, you're, okay, so the only time we refer to nappy hair is to black people. Normally, Who's right? we? Like, in general. Like, in, in general, that's been a thing. Like, Let's not go there. In general, it's been a thing that black people have nappy hair. There's always like a, oh, you nappy-headed boy. Like, you always hear that in, like, black movies and shit like that, right? Like, I think that's always been a thing. Now, you as a Spanish guy, you don't have nappy hair. So, what's considered nappy? You don't have, like, the, I think it's like the, um, what do you call it? Like, the texture of your hair, how rough the texture and how much it curls. I think that's what will be considered nappy, right? I don't know. That's what I'm asking. I would assume. Okay, but you see, you're saying, you're saying you don't know. Because you were just about to fight you know, the fact that he me, wasn't racist. Look, for me, nappy is like, this is nappy. Like those waves, those crazy waves. Like that's nappy. Yeah. That's what I thought nappy meant. You, you got you got wavy here. So that's not considered nappy. Nah, nah, nah. I, I think, I think, I think that we just in our culture as Spanish people, we just say, oh, oh, you got that nappy hair because our hair isn't like straight or isn't. Yeah, like yeah soft. that's what that's literally yeah. what I thought. I thought you either have straight hair or you have nappy. But hair. Let, let me tell you what I've learned so far from. Uh, from this wave process. Uh-huh. There's people with straight hair that could get waves. Yeah. They, they call them straight hair wavers, right? Which... Is that a thing? That's a real thing. That's straight like a, hair, well, okay, hair well, wavers. Mind, I've been on YouTube for a little minute, right? Like, like yeah. trying to get all of this shit. See, like, getting the tutorials. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, how, how does this work? What do I need to do? Yeah, yeah. Yada, 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 right? And there's a lot of people... I, I don't really like to look at... Um, I mean, and I do. I look at... Uh, I guess you could say... Uh, is that... Here's the thing. So when you get technical with it, it's a certain texture up here, right? So yeah. they call it like texture A and texture B. I don't know that shit, right? I just know black people have a certain kind of hair normally, right? Hispanic people have a certain kind of hair. White people have a certain kind of hair, right? So usually it's like the white boys, and it could be Hispanics that have the straight hair. And the way that their process is like the same thing. You just got to brush, 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 or do-rag. It's always the same. Just how it comes out is always going to mm-hmm. be different, right? Like you see like black people, I would say, have more of like, like their ways look way, way better at the end of the day than anybody and it's not really black people just if you have that super tiny curl type of hair because it's like it's like that rigid waves yeah yeah it's, it's like if your hair really curls up like that one yeah. shine really just grows curly then when you brush it and brush it and brush it, it's gonna it's never gonna be super straight it's gonna be like this. yeah it has the rigid waves exactly. that we tend to see exactly so, so you want to have those so drizzy waves out, I mean, but like Jersey has that kind of. I'm yeah. not gonna have that kind. Of, I don't think. You I'm don't think so? That. I don't think so. Cause I don't know. I don't have that kind of hair. I never let my but, hair grow. But he, I don't know. Maybe I don't remember him with long hair. But he always used to have kind of straight hair, right? Drake? Yeah. Look, no, no, no. Drake has a super curly. Yeah. Like, yeah. He has like, um. So Hector, Hector, do you remember when he used to have like his kind of fro thing going on? Nah. Like Hector has the kind of hair that's like, like it, like it's my dad. super curly. No, because your dad's hair doesn't curl, though. Well, that's straight curls. No, really? Yeah, you just haven't seen him in a long, long hair in a saying, while. Yeah, if your dad has a super curl, then yeah. My dad has, like, like he used to have, like, an f- afro when he was little. Really? Like yeah, a full on, like nah, a full-on nah, afro. Then I'm tripping. I don't I don't think I've ever seen your dad then like that. No, no, you probably seen him with just short, short hair. But yeah. if he lets it grow, you start seeing curls, like straight that's curls. So sweaty, man. Hold up, hold up. So Ooh, that's pause. where, when you mix it, time out. And back to your regular programming. You know, I will say this, man. When it comes down to this whole podcasting, um, I uh, I feel pretty comfortable enough to not care about what's going on in the podcast. What do you that mean? That makes sense. Like, all right, like you know, like, for example, like, we just did right now. Like, I'm, I need to get the fan because I'm about to start sweating. You get me? And I sweat, and you know me, I sweat really, really fast, right? 
So I don't care to like cut out certain things. Like, like I, uh, I was watching this thing today, right? Like this guy was saying, "Oh, I get what you're saying. Like you don't want it. To, you don't have. You don't care if it's like perfect. perfect. Exactly. I don't care. Like the production doesn't have to be like this. I love when I see like uh, other, like for example, like Drink Champs and like these chaotic uh, podcasts when there's like no, like there's structure, but there's no like, there's not like this super professional. Like yo, you gotta do this and you gotta do that. Otherwise, it's not gonna quote unquote work out. You get what I'm saying? Like I don't. I like the. When there's like little, I like when there's interruptions. You know, like when Fatima says some shit that's like out of, she's all over there. It's like, all right, you know, yeah, yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to have a conversation because it it becomes real. You don't want it to be boxed. It it becomes a real moment. You know what I'm saying? You get me? Like it's it's almost like recording the real moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't want it to just feel like, all right, this is what we're going through tonight. Cool. Point, point, point. Done. Exactly. Uh, I get that. I get that. I kind of just wanted to ride and see, like, okay, like let's see where we go. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what happens. Let's see where this goes. Yeah, yeah. Just press play and see what happens. Exactly. Now I will say this. I just realized something. I did move the fan a little too close. Do you think it's going to affect the audio? Uh, No, because it's directional. It's so directional. It, should it shouldn't pick it up from back there. All right, cool, cool. I'm just, I'm just it's going to make my hair look like, you know, like that slow motion. Like, is it hitting you? Wah, it's not hitting you. Wah, it is not hitting you because it's not hitting me. That's how I'm going to do. I'm going to do the slow piece. I'm like, oh, <laughs> and then my hair just waves right, in the man. wind. So let, let, let's go into the official introduction. This is the first podcast of 2020. Hey. Um, new decade, new year. New de- um, I've never seen it like that. I feel like all these memes and shit that are coming out. As, no, really, really. Like, I never really saw it as like a, well, no, no. Like a new decade. Well, no, no. It doesn't decade. matter it's how like, you look at it, but it is a new decade. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. That's to me, it's like, just more than like, another day. Like, like it's like it's like factually speaking, it is a new decade. You don't have to look at it like a whole new transition. But factually speaking, we're no longer in the tens; we're in the twenties. But I feel like that's how everybody's watching it, though. Like everybody's looking at yeah, it. Yeah, like, because I, to me, it's just, a, it's just another day. I, I, I get day it. In these streets, you know. I, I get <laughs> it, but but it's like it's like you can like it that way, but it's still another decade. I mean. I don't know if I like it that way, but it, I'm not looking at it. I'm not <laughs> looking at it like, look, every, you know how everybody says Happy New Year, Happy New Year, right? I never understood that either. I always say Merry Christmas. Really? Yeah, or Happy but Hanukkah. The, the troll, right? Or Happy Birthday, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the reason I say is because I never really understood that, like, like I mean, at work, everybody's like, oh, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. I mean, you know, I'll say it back, obviously, like, you know, to be cordial, but I don't really understand, like, where that stems from, is I guess what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? Like, like where does the whole, like, oh, everybody say Happy New Year. Like, I don't feel like we're too grown for that, bro. You don't think so? I guess I, I don't know, like, like I mean, oh, that Merry Christmas, like you know, it's like well, Merry Christmas is obviously a holiday. I don't, I don't know. know, it's like it's, it's I don't know, I just find it weird. Like, yeah, like I, I don't look at you like or I text you guys and say Merry Christmas. Like it's like yo, yeah. what's good, my G? No, like you know? I, I think it's just uh, part of it is always just society. You got used to saying it. I think the other part is we want to celebrate this idea that it's a new beginning, right? Like okay. you have new chances, new okay. hopes, new experience, new new whatever experiences and. And I de- so you always say happy new year because you're hoping that this year will be a happy one, like a a, a good a one. good year, a good, even though prosperous. I- even though like you know whether you had a bad year or a good year that's perspective, but I can see that it, it's just that like hey I hope like you know people say happy birthday like yeah, realistically yeah. speaking what are you saying happy to right that day I ran through out of my mom's uterus right like, right right. I mean, you know, that, that that's another thing that, that I've, you know, me, me and you talked about this before. That's another thing that I kind of, I don't, I don't want to say I struggle, but I always have questions about too. Like, as people, why do we celebrate? Do you think that as humans, we just celebrate shit just because we want to party? Or like, or like why? Because why do we, why do we celebrate birthdays? I guess it's just a celebration of another year of life. Just like another year of happy day. Is another it, month. I think birthday, too much? I think birthday is the same thing as happy new year. It's kind of like, mm. like, Congratulations, okay. you didn't die. Gotcha. Like, think about it. That's really what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. So, so what you're saying is like this whole thing came back from way back in the day, like when people didn't, like people used to die like real quick. <laughs> it's like, yo, think about that. You shit. made it to 35. That's no one saying. makes it to 35. Nah, I'm about, well, all right, let, let, let's do this right now. Let's play a game right now. This is an I'm down game right now, officially. What would, where, at what point in time would you say birthday started? That like you think people started saying, you know what? Our life is so good when you start celebrating shit. Because that's, that's all, the only time it started. Because, I mean, caveman days, yo, you're too busy running around. And, you know, you not, you don't got time for that the shit. The time of the kings. All right, what time was that? Like, I don't oh, know. I don't know what time was well, that. Well, before, the, I don't know. Is it the kings of existence since, like, Egypt? Technically, you had a pharaoh, so it's essentially a king. Okay, yes. Right? Yes. In Mesopotamia, you have, you know, Hammurabi and all these people. So, technically, uh-huh. you have kingship. Uh, I say, yeah, I say, well, like, you have royalty. Because hmm. royalty celebrates to show they got money. To stunt, so that's where stunning came from too. I, I say so because look, think about it. When life got well, good, like, look, royalty's not gonna walk around near the poor people, so they can't really flex that way. Right, right. They flex by having these crazy parties, and mm. second of all, they don't really care to flex on poor people. 
right, right, they right. want to flex on the other rich people to remind them they're not as rich as me. Mm. So what do you do? You invite them to a party that is better than them. Than their shit. So, so it's so, like, you know, like King Louis XIV saying, oh, you invited me to your party where well, I got Versailles. So let's uh, blow up Versailles gardens. So so essen- essentially what you're saying is that this all stemmed from just trying to stunt. Always. So it's like, yo, so. we got to figure out what to celebrate because we're running out of so. shit to celebrate. Yep. That, you know, you might, you might be onto something right there. All right. So... Life got so good for these people, right? These riches or whatever. And they decide, yo, we're going to start celebrating birthdays, right? But if you're trying to throw a party all the time, why not celebrate your, like, why not celebrate you every day or, or every month? Like, yeah, why, but why, why we got to wait a whole year? Because some people got to go to war, bro. You can't just be partying all day. You got to conquer. Oh, I, think about it. In the Jewish culture, right? Uh-huh. Uh, in Jesus' time, Bible time. Okay. The weddings would stand for, like, uh, depending on how rich you were, it could yeah. be a week-long wedding. Oh, yeah. straight partying for a week. That's why when Jesus turns the water oh, into wine, right. yeah, they're like, yo, yeah, how yeah. come you waited till the end? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. you know, we've been popping off for six days. Now you're going to bring out the, the Don Perignon? Like, That's nah. That's like, true, bro. Yo, Jesus might have been Hispanic, bro. <laughs> he was late. <laughs> he might have been, bro, because you got to think about it. You got to think about this shit. Yo, only a Hispanic man after a week of partying still says, now nah, you know what, bro, this shit ain't over, bro. <laughs> hey, everybody, nah. come on, bro. We got to finish this shit over. Like, think about that, that shit. My thing is like... Nah, bro. Box one ain't doing it this time. <laughs> like, like, we're closing with a bang. What happens when the corona at the party are done? <laughs> oh, somebody got to go buy some. Go to that gas station. Yeah. Go cop yourself a couple packs more. No, no. Know? At that point, they'll send the kids who ain't even allowed to yeah, buy it. Exactly. Like, go, yeah, exactly. Go, go, go. Yeah, exactly. Especially if you live in a place where it's like it's very familiar. Like the corner store guy knows uh-huh. who you are. You're, you're like, yo, go ahead, bro. Buy the beer. You know, and then they'll be like, oh, he ain't gonna that's you. Rito's son. He's exactly. Good, good. Yeah, that, you know, that's a good point. Now, I will say this, though. In efforts to not uh, run down this podcast for an hour, <laughs> right? We try to, like... Uh, I think we're trying to be better. Good. Yeah, we're trying yeah. to be better. Try to... I feel like we uh, probably go on these rants or whatever. But, hey, it, it is what it is, right? But we, we're trying to cut down, you know, 25 yeah. minutes is a sweet spot, I think. Yes. I have two things I want to get to. Whatever you want to get to, interrupt me whenever you want go to. Ahead. First thing I want to get to, I'm down. So, it's about to be... In May, it'll be two years. We're still broke. We still get no attention out here in these streets. It's all good. How do you feel about I'm down? I, tell me, tell me. I feel the same I felt at the beginning. Okay. I feel like I'm down just stems from the friendship. Yeah. So uh, until we don't get like work, like yeah. actual work that I have to be like, yo, Chris, you have to post on your account because yeah. we have a sponsor. Yeah. Until that day comes, which yeah. is going to come because I yeah. believe we're going to make it. Okay. Right. Okay. Until that day comes, I'm going to be chilling. Yeah. Because it's like. It's not a burden, like you know. For example, we're supposed to record on Sunday. Today yeah. is Tuesday. For those who don't really know, yeah, yeah. Um, and at, and at the last minute, literally, I got, I ended up having to do something. Mm-hmm. You told me. Mm-hmm. You know, I was literally on my way here, and I get a call like, yeah. I'm like, oh damn, all right. And, and so it's not like George's gonna be like, yo, we set up everything, we pay for the studio time, yeah, yeah, like yeah, you yeah, have yeah, to yeah. be here. Yeah. You're gonna be like, literally, you're like, all right. Yeah, you know, it's flexible. and then yeah, cool. to that point that it doesn't feel like it's burdensome, yeah, and it still feels freeing. Yeah, I'm I'm Yaguchi. all about I'm down. Yaguchi. I think I'm down. It's just us conversating, growing together. Yeah. Me challenging a lot of your nonsense you know, I don't agree with. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah, trying to sure. prove to me that you're right. Sometimes, sometimes. And, and then trying to give you guys an insight into into how we see the world, right? Yeah. And also encourage you guys to just dream big and do big things, and mm-hmm. but actually put the work in. Not yeah. just dream it, work it, yeah. right? So I think that that still remains true to me. Yeah, for sure. I, I, gr- I completely agree. I remember when we first started, I told you, yo, this is going to be like a 10, 15 year thing, right? And, you know, it, it, and the reason that I say those things is because it's, it's um. It's so crazy to me, right? When I see people now, right? So, uh, and when we talk about examples, mm-hmm. right? I see people now, like, and they're just blowing up right now, right? And like, I'm thinking, like, damn, like, they they came up, cool, cool, cool. But you kind of hear their stories, like, yo, I've been at this since I was 11 years old. I've mm-hmm. been at this since I was 15 years old. Cause, cause a lot of people we see right now, I feel like, um, you know, we talk about like how a youth compares too much, mm-hmm. especially nowadays with social media. It's because you see somebody who might be 24, 25, 26 millionaires and you're mm-hmm. thinking shit like what am i not what am i doing that's, that's no, wrong no, yeah it's not working but you know you gotta realize a lot of these people i mean some of them have become overnight celebrities but a lot of them haven't you get me a lot of them did put in the work like you know sleep all that shit right so you know for, for me my point of view hasn't changed um as far as that you get me like mm-hmm. like for me it's just yo not stopping you get me continue and continue and continue you get me that that's, that's all it is i look at it like when we first started, the amount of content we put out from when we first started till today is more. Because, okay, when we first started, we probably recorded like twice a week, something like mm-hmm. that. And we don't record twice a week, but, I mean, the breakdown of content, I guess, that we put on certain platforms has definitely grown since then. No, Even no, and slower, the quality of things. Right, and definitely the quality of things, yeah. for sure. I mean, we started off with like, 
a tripod and my like, like right here, like yeah, right here. Exactly, right? And then now it's like, okay, we actually have microphones yeah. and we you know so it's, it's definitely it's, it's picking up, it's just little by little. And, and exactly. And, 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 and when you said I think you said the go beautifully for us. I remember you had that thing over there. Yeah, yeah. And it was so it was like Value you know, cause some people will look and be like, yo, it's not working. Yeah. No, no, it's working. Yeah. It's just not working at the speed you expected. Exactly. And and and, and even ju- just to put this into perspective for you, because this is so funny. So, you know, every time I go out to like a party or something like that, right? Um, people, I would ask me, hey, so, you know, what's up with the, I'm down there. I'm like, hey, you know, we, we, we're still going, we're still going, we're still going, right? Like, people ask. Like, so people are aware of what's going mm-hmm. on, right? That, that's what that tells me. Like, people know and understand, like, okay, like you're doing something, right? So people always ask me, like, oh, you know, like we're, we're still posing, we're still doing it, you know. I've had conversations like with, um, like with coworkers, like they find out that I mm-hmm. guess, and that that's one thing for me too. That's that's funny because at my job, the there's people that have told me, oh, like you have a podcast. I have no idea to this day how they found out. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I'm so sick. I have no clue to well, this day. A friend of a friend follows you on Instagram. Who, who knows, right? Like I honestly don't know. Like somehow they did, and whatever. So e- even for that, to me, it's funny because I'm not trying to like be out there. Like oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I'm just I'm, uh, You're I'm just doing it. Yeah, we're just doing it, and you know. So somehow, some way, it gets to people, and it's slow, but it's getting to people some way. Some yeah. like the knowledge of okay, you're doing something gets to people. So when I look back, I'm thinking like, wow, you know, th- those same people will tell me like, oh, but you know, you should like try to like you know do this so you could get you could get yeah. money, you could get money. Is the things like I understand where people's mentalities are coming from, and I hope that one day that could be positive. That'd be great, but that's not the goal. You know what I mean, like like, and what I mean by goal is like like the the. The foundation of what we're trying to build isn't like, oh, let's try to get this money. Because if it was, then we wouldn't necessarily be doing this anymore. Yeah. If you really think about it, you get me? So, like, it would be great to have money from this. You get me? It would be amazing. You get me? And y- sure, that could be a goal for sure. You get me? To get some money. But overall, is is like we say, is that message. You get me? And I've realized that that message gets to people the more you do. You mm-hmm. get me? So, like, when you accomplish something and you start doing more things that are, like, tangible, that people can see, people can, like, oh, okay, I see then more people hear you. You get me? Yeah. Like more people have their yeah. eyes on you. You get me? Yeah, of course. Uh, your, your life becomes the evidence of what your exactly. words are saying. Like exactly. walking. You know, exactly. you walk the talk. The, the only thing is that for us, I feel like we sometimes talk ahead of our time. You get, you get what I'm saying? Like I feel like some of the things that we say, you can look back years later and be like, why would you say that if you were in this position? Or why would you think that if you didn't get here? You get what I'm saying? Like I, I like to say... Hashtag shit. Kanye for president. <laughs> I, I that that's a good one. I like to say shit that hopefully manifests itself into something because I hope somebody catches us early, like 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 starts listening early. Because then if they li- and when I say listen, I'm not talking about just hearing what we do on YouTube mm-hmm. and just keep scrolling. I'm talking about when I say listen, like okay, let me let me listen let to me what, see what they're actually yeah, saying. Like I know they say nonsense, but like when they say some real shit, let me listen because you might catch that wave early. And then really be driving it because what happens is like what happens. Okay, somebody blows up. It's like okay, now these guys blew up. Now let me go back and study what they did. But you could have just been along the, the ride, ride the entire yeah. entire way. You get me? Yeah, if you ride the journey, then you don't have to worry about how it happened. Exactly, you were there. You, you know, like you yeah. saw yeah. E- everything kind of you know evolve. So uh, everything is in God's God's time, like you say, God's plan. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Of if, course. If God wants us to blow up, it will. If He doesn't, it won't. But at the end of the day, you know, we're gonna continue living our lives. Like I say, man, I genuinely enjoy doing this. Um, if you know, if I got pay for this, I could do this every day. Cause talking shit, yeah, talk, that's, just talking yeah, in just general, talking is, in general is what we do. Exactly, yeah. it's what we do. So you know, um, that's how I feel about down. You know, it's twenty twenty, uh, two year, and the race is coming up in April thirtieth or twenty ninth. Twenty third, no, twenty ninth. Twenty ninth, yeah. One, one, you know, it's close enough. Well, yeah, twenty ninth was the day we talked about it at Brimstone. Thirtieth, I think, is the day we try to bust it down and see what was out. We're like, I mean, the first, I guess, I guess, to me, it's gonna be like the video, like, like when was the first I'm down video? But I think it was check 29th. on YouTube real quick, go all the way Dude, to I, the that's, first. That's video. a lot of. No, that's you don't have to scroll all the way to the back. How, you how just go you? to the videos. Watch. Let's, 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 let's check this, out. this program has been brought to you by your sponsors. Where's Where your I'm down library? Let's see. Cause I, I, if I, 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 I'll call it 29th. What do you call? I think it's... I think it's the 29th. Yeah. Oldest. Oldest. What day is this? Let that little description uh, pull up. May 1st. 
So yeah, also April, so April thirtieth, I guess you could say. Yeah. Was I mean, because it probably took a little minute. Because remember, post, right? we recorded on a Sunday. On a Saturday. Saturday. We went to right to the movies right after that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I forgot one more you want to go watch. We went right to movies. I went to the bistro right after that. All right. So Saturday. Saturday. Hmm. So yeah, okay, whatever. fine. Let's call it May first. Yeah, that's first. even. That's probably a little easier for me to remember. Five one. Five one yeah, eighteen. Yeah. So in a little bit. So in the f- in about I guess four months and a half. Yeah. Well, no, not three really months. Uh, Let's say almost months, five months, months or so. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Four months and some change. Yeah. Um. And again, man, the the vision stays the same, the communication stays the same, and you know we, we talked about it, man. Like at the end of the day. We all have shit to like. You have, and I, I told you before, but like, I know your schedule is extensive. You get what I'm saying? So I will never be like, bro, what the fuck? You get me? Like, like I, and, and the whole thing of doing stuff like this is just the the comfortability. Like, it's like, yo, like, it don't gotta be like at this time. Yeah, I mean, it's not like a job. Yeah, right? It has it's not to like, be flexible. Yo, it, there's some flexibility. So, you know, um, at the end of the day, man, that, that's how I feel about I'm down. So if you're asking, um, just know that's what it is. Oh, and I'm gonna say one more thing that doesn't say, like, even um, I was I was at a party and Nancy referenced something that we were talking about about like girls being zeros and ones. You remember that conversation yeah. that we had? I thought that was funny too because it's like, like it's hitting people. Like I don't look at it like this at all. Like you know we talk about like yo, it's people you know. Like people I know, I don't really take too much into like, like like when there's somebody I know, right? Like and somebody that like I guess cares for my feelings tells me like oh you know keep doing it. I'm not going to take that so much. Yeah, cause because you feel like they're being nice. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I mean, I want to hear that shit from other people. Like, yeah. when I hear other people that I've barely seen in a minute, be like, yo, keep doing that shit, keep blah, blah, blah. Then that makes me think that, okay, like, you're, you're watching, mm-hmm. you're paying attention. So, again, um, Nancy's an uh, old-time homie of mine, but the fact that she referenced, she didn't compliment us, she just referenced something, just tells me that, okay, it's, it's getting clicked out there. there. Yeah, it's clicked out there. In the head, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's somewhere out there, yeah. and it's in your brain, and that just tells me that if it could be in your brain, it could be in somebody else's brain, and it could be in somebody mm-hmm. across the world's brain. You just have no and, idea and that's, and that's how it starts. Be like, yo, who that? Yeah. Oh, cool, podcast, let me check it out. Yeah. And then that's how the word of mouth travels. Exactly, like, yeah. just little by little. So but like, I also appreciate uh, that it's challenging I think it's challenging me at least to think differently. Like, um, remember I said that, oh, it's time for girls to start proposing to guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, let's so talk about some that. Girl, some girl <laughs> comes and goes, so you want to get proposed to now? Yeah. I was like, yeah, why not? Why do I have to conform? You know, okay, like, okay. it's not my privilege, it's your privilege. Okay. You right? said and then that? I went off and I ran on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, And I was yeah, like, yeah. you know what? It's just a rap. I really mean this now. Yeah. And I, and I think that sometimes... You have some things inside of you that you haven't examined, yeah. and this gives us the freedom to just say it yeah, yeah, yeah. and then reflect later. Like, how come I said that? <laughs> yeah. Well, first of all, I don't think you have the. I don't think you can put your pride aside when it comes to that. I think I can. No. I was thinking about you're it. Gonna, I was thinking look about at you it. laughing right now. You're thinking about it right now. You're, about it right now. <laughs> you, if anything, you're gonna try to mentally prepare yourself for that I moment. I will for sure, for <laughs> exactly. sure. That's but if that shit were to happen, you'll be like, bro. Like, you would look at Fatima like, bro, Yo, what are I'll you doing? I'll be so red, though. That's what I'm I'll saying. Be because, so red. because you got to think about it. that. That's nah, nah, I know what I could do. I could do it if it's in uh, private. But uh, if she okay. does it in front of people. She probably will. Which, that's obviously, honest. that's how yeah. she is. She's, the whole production. She's the whole production. Whole production. Cameras, yeah. like everything. Subtitles. Yeah, yeah. You're going to yeah. have you as a host. Yeah, it's probably, a nice probably, proposal. Probably. Like, wait, what? Yeah, trying to set everything up. Yeah, it's going to be. <laughs> and I'm going to be like. I feel uh, like you're gonna know though. Dang. Me too. Yeah, you're gonna know. Yeah, I'm gonna like, 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 like in that day. Like I feel like, like you might have some hints throughout the week, and that day. Yeah, I'm gonna be happens, like, oh, it's coming. You're gonna know yeah, be like, because you're gonna be like, what the fuck is going on? Like yeah, it's yeah. too much it's bullshit. It's too much nonsense. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna like, yeah, cause you know, one thing I've realized is that like people kind of like don't do the norm. You get me? So like you said, uh, for example, if you get out of church and you normally see somebody, you normally see like, and then you don't see that no more. It's like. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, something's yeah, something's going on. off. Something's, something's off. iffy here. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I, th- I think you'll know. Now, you'll first of all, if I get proposed to in church, I'm going to be mad. You don't think you'll get proposed at church? I better not. Everybody does that so far. Yeah, but I don't want that. All these church people. Why? For what? I don't know. Everybody does that so far. All these I, church people. I want to get proposed. Actually, that's, actually no, that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Not everybody does that. Who who has proposed? Okay. Hector's proposed at church. Lewis proposed at church. Who else proposed at church? I don't church? know anybody else. Yeah, that's it. Nah, right, at least that I know. All right, but what I'll tell you what a perfect proposal is. Uh, you buy me tickets okay. to a Patriots game. Oh, okay. And okay. then, like, you know, before the game's over, yeah, 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 yeah. you propose. In I don't the care. Box? In the box? No, what I don't care. Like the Jumbotron. Chris, marry me. I, the I don't Jumbotron, whatever. First of all, I'll do it anyway. Would you say yes? Yo, of course. But not to embarrass her because you really felt that, like, saying yes. Both. 
Uh, at this point, like, nah, I can't be both. There has to be one. At this point, you There's gotta no tell me. Are you gonna tell me that at this point I invested so much? You just be like, nah, bro. Nah, of course, you're not gonna say no. But are you gonna say yes because you don't want to embarrass her? And then you can have the conversation later, like, yo, I need like, yo, you did it in front like of that. everybody, bro. No, I don't think you can take the flag that will come from that. No, nah? you will become a meme. You will be a meme for sure. I probably hit it for a little while. I'll probably be like. Yeah, but you know what? Only for a little while. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's happened before already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah, women's sure, proposed yeah. some men in the game. No, but check sure. me out. So then, I don't know how this conversation started again on Friday, right? We, we went to eat with uh, Julia and Fatima. Okay. And uh, I started saying, nah, man, I want to get proposed to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one of the, the chefs there is like, yo, you're right on. Yeah, yeah. You know, where are those girls? Where are the girls that will propose to you and tell you you're worth it? I want to get with you. Right, right. Put and a then, ring. And so then I'm like, you know what? We're going to start a system out here. We're going to start a whole foundation out here. Okay, you know what? Let, let, let's start You don't have early. the whole hashtag, black men don't cheat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the whole hashtag, Hispanic men get proposed, proposed to. Proposed to. Okay, I like that. All right. Let, let, I'll say I do let, too. Let's oh. do this. I say I do too. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let, let's set this up real quick. How would you want to be proposed to as a man, man? Uh, like, like how, how would this have to play out? Would it ring, no ring? Like, what's going on? Uh, no, I don't need a ring because I don't even want to get I mean, a ring. you don't want a ring, but I mean, but how, then how would you pro get proposed to them? I just want you to be like, you don't even have to get your knees. Why do you have to be your knees? Like, so weird. That's a thing. No, no, Arab, but I don't think if a dude does it. But if a girl goes on her knees, you think that looks cool? That looks cool. I think both of them look weird. I yeah, I am, me too. I don't understand. No, both, no, but what I, mean, I, I want, know, what hey. I want is like that moment. You know, I'm gonna be like, yo, that was fire. Like that's what I want. Yeah. I don't want like, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Like, like you don't want to be like this over emotional thing. No, because that's okay. like, it's like, dude, really. Like you said, yes. Like it's not like we got married yet. It's not the wedding day. I ain't gonna lie. Probably for my wedding day, you'll probably cry. I'll probably cry. You're I ain't gonna lie. Tear. I ain't gonna lie. I'll okay. be like, I'll be like, <laughs> I'll be there to make fun of you. <laughs> Just why you're not invited. <laughs> Just for that. Yeah, I know. I'll sneak in there, bitch. The, the problem is, I'm gonna sneak in there, the bitch. The I know you. You won't wait till after the wedding. You'll be like, ah, he cried, ah. he cried. I'll be like, John, <laughs> I'm trying to focus here, bro. You'll be like, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to focus. We're you trying know, to get married out here, homie. Actually, no, I'll leave that for last. Okay, okay. So, so continue, continue. So, so like, I, I, want something, I want something like, like for the proposal to just be like, you know, we having. I, I would do it like an in intimate, like whether it's just her and I yeah. or with the family. Yeah. Like, have the proposal be an engagement party all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you get me? Okay. Like, at that like, point, like at, that, at, at that, that point, it's just like, we get to celebrate the news uh, and everybody already knew except yeah, for you. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. let me be honest, like, if you were worried about that person saying no, then you guys haven't had that conversation yet. So for you to get proposed, to have to be like a, a, your birthday or something like that. So something special like yeah, that, yeah. Something like that. For you, that's a no. Yeah, like, yeah. Really. It would have to be like, oh, everybody's already home. Yeah. And then, like, at the last minute, it's like something happens. Uh, but imagine how she, she proposed to me with, like, a signed Tom Brady jersey. Like, this, is, I think, oh, would be a beautiful look. Like, I it's my birthday. You. It's my birthday. Listen, look. It's my okay, birthday, okay. right? Because I think that's a good one. I would probably be like, oh, everybody's here already. And so sure. she's like, hey, I got you a gift. Yeah. Cool. And so she gives me a signed Tom Brady jersey, and she goes, I would love to be in your team forever. Mm. No need, none of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Will you marry me? And then I'll be like, I and I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, I gotta tell me, Jersey. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, to that, but yeah. <laughs> Yo, tell me that's not a fire proposal for a dude. First of all, yes, it is fire. And I just said, you just set it up. For, if this does not become a thing in the future, you girls are fucking up. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Do you, now, this, this is the next question. Though. Do you think girls are willing to put their pride aside and go propose to a guy? Nah, but. Mm -hmm. I think that's because they know dudes will fold and they'll bend into it. You think because of that? Yeah. But like, I told my mm -hmm. team, I'm like, why? I don't think so. I told my team, I was like, why? Because I think girls have no problem proposing. You think? I, I, think I do, just bro. think the problem with girls is they made the wedding and the whole proposal about themselves. Exactly. Like, like so for I don't, them yeah, is the first time. I, I, I don't think for them is the pride of like, damn, bro. I gotta, is the, for them is like the selfishness. What, yeah. What about my picture? And what about uh, my? What about? What about? What about? Well, I don't think it's pride. I think it's selfishness. Now, I think this is where the next thing comes. So then does that mean that you will have to propose to her or no? Like after she proposes to you, would you give her that moment? Yeah, I'll give it to you, but it's not... It's, it's kind of dumb yeah. after that, but you'll give... I mean, I, I think somebody that finally will probably want the picture, yeah, yeah, yeah. the moment. You think you think, you think that yeah, you'll do that Yeah, but come on, though? bro. If that girl could get a video of me getting teary, yeah. she'll take that over me proposing true, to her. True, true, true. Okay, now, on this, on this uh, Hispanic men... <laughs> I say me too. Wait, what I is say it? I do too. I say I do too. Okay, on this on this topic, right? we're trying to push this agenda. We're gonna push this. It's gonna happen. Gonna it's gonna happen. This. It's gonna happen. Okay, so you get proposed to as a man, right? Any sport event, whatever, 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 right? Now, as far as every other, uh, I guess, traditional wedding, uh, all of this other shit, 
what do you what do you say to that? Does that still go hand in hand? Like, is everything going normal? No, nah, are you I'll, switching I'll, things up? No, no, I just gonna I'm not inviting anybody. You said that before. Uh, and I, I still, mean, you said that in the round. Yeah, Twitter. and you I still I still Twitter. mean that. I think you gotta pin that on your thing so everybody knows. Oh, everybody knows what's up. I think you gotta pin. Do you have any pin tweets or no? Nah. Oh, you gotta pin that then. Okay. Yeah, you gotta pin that. Right, cool. Yeah, because that way anybody. Whoever goes on your Twitter knows, like, yo, all right, at least, you know what I'm saying? At least it's been real since 2020, yeah, exactly. you, know? <laughs> like, you know? They got a little heads up, because mm. if not, that that thing's going to get lost and, like, a sea a of retweets yeah. and all of that stuff, you know what I'm saying? That's true. I'm going to go look at You got to go pin that. All right, so nobody's getting invited to the wedding. But, again, you want to have a more intimate, you, you, you're a little bit different when it comes to that. Okay, now, this is a whole, this is my whole thing. What if she doesn't do what you just said? What if she does make it? Just like a, a roll switch. She does get on one knee. She does give you a ring. She does make it. What happens then? I don't know. I feel awkward, I, th- bro. I think that's I exactly feel, what I'm I feel saying. so awkward. I'd be like. That's like, exactly. Because think about it. Like when a girl gets on one knee, that doesn't, I don't know. It's just optically because you've been so washed to see it exactly. a certain way. It doesn't look right. No. Like that's what I'm saying. Like if a girl proposes to you, it has to be so personal and so different. Because look, most girls will love. Every general basic proposal every other dude has ever done. Yeah. But for a dude to get proposed to, it has to be very into. Like, for yeah. example, if you were to ever get proposed to, right? Mm-hmm. This is like a big if. Right, right. Um, you just would have to be like with some custom designed shoes. Probably. And then oh, she, you dope. open the shoe box. Like Cinderella? Yeah. Okay. And you open the shoe box, and then like there's something that says like Jared Lorenzo signed so by. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like crazy. You know, and then like a yeah, married, yeah, yeah. you'll be like, yo. You wouldn't even say yeah. I gotta take you, my foot out yeah, like this. <laughs> you'd be like, yo, but since you are actually yeah, yeah, gonna be like, yeah. put this shoe on. I yeah, said yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right? You know, that, that, you're right, but. Because dudes have to be more yeah. like special. You know what it is, though? I think that you're looking at it from a very creative point of view. I think that proposals aren't creative anymore. Like, they, they, they're. Like, everybody just, like, it, like, the whole proposal itself, like, what you do according to a proposal is a little bit different, right? You might go to dinner, you might have the family, you might, I don't know, surprise, whatever, mm-hmm. you get me? But as far as, like, the 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 proposing part is, like, yeah, I'm going to get on one knee, I'm going to take this ring out. That's always mm-hmm. been the, the yeah, thing, yeah. right? Like, once you got the engagement ring on, that's how you know you're engaged. Like that, That's the thing for girls. Girls love showing off the ring, all of that shit, right? What do you think about, like, all this money that gets spent on this I stuff? think it's a waste of money. Things are to win. Like for example, there's another this one I actually really like, and it's with this dude gets engaged to the girl and marries her the same day. Oh, I like that. Okay. And so like he had already prepared that's basically good. everything. Yeah, yeah, right. That's really good. And so he gets the engagement, and then and then she basically has to run off to her dress, run yeah. off to her makeup because they have that wedding because he had already set up oh, the whole wow. day. You know, and I think so that's what if she would have said no. Yo, he knew for sure. Yeah, you, he yes. knew for sure. This one yeah. else, the one else that you've been already talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. He's like, wow. uh, like, yo, we've been dating. I think she's the one. You this know is what? like, I like that better too, because it just makes everything like just kind of come so, together. So I've I've thought about like a very intimate wedding, yeah. right? Where like something along the lines of in the backyard of my house. Yeah, yeah. Setting up like like setting up super nice. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super nice. Gotcha. But like you know. Um and this is where the, the whole logistics of it is hard. Yeah, yeah. Sitting on super nice, having you know the, the you, my mm-hmm. brothers, my parents, and yeah. that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And skipping the engagement, mm. just walking her into the wedding without her realizing it's the wedding. The ah. only problem is because it's her day. How do you get a girl to pick the right dress without knowing you're already getting married and blah blah blah? Like there's oh, so many. This is, th- th- this is where their friends come in handy. I know, but it would have to be like the friend takes her to pick the dress. Yeah. Pay for the dress, have her makeup and her beautifully ready. So yeah, at the yeah, last yeah. minute when she walks, you like you got five minutes to get ready. We're yeah. getting married today. You, you know what it is. You have. A, but you tell me how beautiful that. that, that would be a romantic fairy tale. Awesome, yeah. That idea. I never heard that before. That's, first, that's first, another that's one that awesome. I've been thinking about. Yeah. I'm like, that's, screw everything else. Just yeah. go straight to the marriage. That's awesome, first of all. But and, and I don't think that's that hard to pull off because it's not gonna be traditional. Like I don't think if you're trying to be traditional wedding, like yo with that big dress, you're like, eh, no. 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 But I mean. You can pull it off if you try to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we're going to go have a dinner or something like that, right? Get ready. Yeah, exactly. And you got to be with a friend and you go out shop. You got to be something that's very structured. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's got to be very planned, but it can happen. It's not, I don't think it's too hard to pull off. Yeah, so. Or, a good or idea. Or something along the lines of what should be good is having the friend pick the wedding dress, right? Yeah. Having the wedding dress at the friend's house. Oh. Having a makeup artist show up to the, like, oh, we're just going to go to my house and then we're going to Chris's. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So she's already ready. Having a limo or something, pick her up there, yeah, yeah. and then bring her to be like, "What's going on?" Bring her to the house, and yeah. then in the house, just be ready for wedding. Sh- that would be wild. That'd be fire. I think first of all, that would be probably the best like overall like 
from point A to like because to like she'll be she'll be like, like, how are we even getting married? What yeah, is going like, on here? The, like she would have so many questions even though she's knows what's going on. The question is, do you think she'll go for that? Yeah, you think Cause so? Because she's like super emotional. But the mm. problem is that she would ruin through her makeup. The That's moment she sees her dress, even without me being there, yeah, yeah, yeah. she'll ball on the dress. She'll yeah. ball on her makeup. She'll ball on the yeah, way to the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the house. They got waterproof makeup now, right? Yeah. yeah but so imagine, but like, she wouldn't even make it. She's like, we're going to Christmas. Oh, we're making a quick stop. Yeah, And yeah, then yeah. that would be the actually when we Ooh, get married. That'd be wild. Yeah. That'd be wild. And then from then on, I already told you, I'm not doing no... Yeah, like no big party. No, no, no. no big We're no, having no, right? a glass of wine. Mazel tov and her and I fly out. But go. I like that, man. That's not, that's, that's not at all a bad idea. Um... I will advocate for this movement. You gotta, you gotta, I gotta remember the hashtag. I say I do too. Yeah. That's what it says? Or is it? No, wait. It says, men say I do too. Men say I do too. I like, no, that's not what you said before. No, that's good. That one's better? That yeah, better? I like that one better. Men, men say, say I, I do, do too. too. Why not, man? You know what? I, you know what? I'll push for that. I'll advocate for that. I'm with that. Vote for us. Yeah. Great ideas. I absolutely advocate for that. You guys keep talking I'll about push pushing gender equality. Why yes. not this? Yes, exactly. You know, we're not going to get into quality <laughs> I saw talk. your eyes light I was about up. To snap. I saw your yeah. eyes light but, nah, nah. Up. but that, I advocate for this. Now, in the spirit of time, last last point I want to get to, right? I want to get your opinion on this. So, I'm not a, I guess, a super nature boy mm -hmm. or whatever, but, you know, you heard Australia's on fire, shit popping off. They're saying 500 million animals have died. Yo, you guys see, like, the koalas is coming into the middle of the street? Yeah, like, it's burnt wild. Up, fucked up, wild. Like, so, 500 million and that's half a billion animals animals dead right so let's put on in, in, into in, i guess this is a, a deeper conversation right now because i want everybody to realize right now you ain't shit it don't <laughs> matter how much money you have it don't matter like like it, it really like i want you to think about this real quick nature is like the dominance of of everything that you do in your life because whether you believe God controls nature, the universe controls nature, Mother Nature, whatever, you gotta look at it like this. It's a force. Exactly. You gotta look at it. Lil Duval said, like, yo, people in the Bahamas, like, shit happens, and yo, to them, it's like, you know, it's a tragedy, whatever. Obviously, you get it, but it's not as tripping as you may think because they expect this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, hurricanes come all the time to, like, Bahamas. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, we expect for this shit to come and fuck everything up. It's yeah. like, it, it, it's a different mentality. Like he he said today, um, he can't. Well, he didn't say he can't wait, but he said like, yo, when that sh when something crazy hits the U.S., our asses are so used to like like being in like such mm -hmm. a good life. You don't know how to cope, right? Yeah, yeah. So, my question is this, or or I guess like what I'm trying to say is this. The reason why I say is that you ain't shit is because you really got to look, start looking at life a little bit different. You get me? I think that as young people, we set out these goals, right? That you want to make X amount of money. You want to live in this kind of house. You want to drive this kind of car. You want to wear this kind of clothes. And all that's cool. You get me? But I think that we get too lost in that. You know what I'm saying? And we forget that, like, yo, life is like this, my G. Like, yeah. literally like this. I was literally coming home the other day and um, I had my friends in the back, right? Like, like, not in the back of my car. Like, they're driving another car right behind me. So... Uh, what is it? It was right on 29th Street and 12th Avenue, right? It's kind of later. It was uh, probably like around 12 or 1, you know, it's kind of late. Uh, probably like around 1. So the light turns green on my side, so I go, and from the corner of my eye, a car just shoom, comes super close, and I had to brake super hard, right? So, you know, whatever. I, I, he took the red. He took the red, yeah, he took the red. And I continued, I, I, I kind of just continued going about my life. I didn't even think about it until... um. Yesterday, yesterday, you know, I'm, I'm hanging out with my boy, and I, and I asked him, like, yo, I forgot to ask you, but, you know, and we started talking, he's like, bro, I promise you, like, because he, he said to me, like, yeah, I completely forgot about it, but like, yo, I promise you, if you would have, like, if you would have not broken when you did, he would have took your life. He said, like, he, because he would have eventually, because he was coming fast, man, he was coming really fast. The whole car's But I saw him, yeah, but he would have hit my door, like, if, if oh, it's on your side. Yeah, it would have been on my side, so he would have ended up hitting on my door. I mean, so it put, if, again, I didn't even think about that at the time, I thought about that yesterday, I was like, wow, so. I could have just died that day. You know what I'm saying? And no amount of money, no amount of uh, houses, cars, Followers. nothing would have mattered because I would have died. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I thought that, but you know what? Like, let's say I would have died. It would have been tragic, but so far in my life, there would have been no regrets. You know what I'm saying? That's like, dope. So far in my life, I would say, like, because right now, look, right now, I was just thinking like, yo, you know, 
I live my life like like mentally is almost like the best when I have no goals. And as <laughs> dumb as that may sound, this is what I'm trying to get at. When you have like when you're trying to strive for something, you're working, working, working. What I'm trying to say is like when I went on vacation um these last two months, November, December, I was like on vacation for like a whole bunch of days. Bro, I didn't strive to do shit, but chill. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally chill. And I realized, like, yo, you know what? Chilling can't be done every day. This, th- it can't be done every day. You get me? Because then it's no longer, like, like that thing that you value. It's yeah. almost like it's, it becomes an everyday yeah, thing. You you're bored of yeah, you're a bum. Yeah, you're a bum. You become bored of it. But, you're, but my mind shift is like, yo... You got to enjoy like the shit that you have right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the life that you have right now. Like, like, like I tweeted out like, yo, people are tweaking right now, tripping because their Rolls Royce is in 2020. They're on the 2018, 2019. Let me put it like this: 50 Cent came up French Montana, like, like, like calling him like broke or whatever, because French Montana bought a 2010 Bugatti. <laughs> okay, I want you to put that into, in, into perspective for you. He said, "Oh, you bought that old OA shit, you know." You don't even got the new, because the new Bugatti is a Chiron, right? The Chiron, he has a Veyron. It's like, just just think about this real quick. Somebody really is calling you a bum. You just bought a one point something million, million dollar, dollar car. car. 1.2, right? And you're considered a bum. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, look at the perspectives. Is all I'm trying to say. Like, life is all about perspective. Wherever you're at in your life right now, understand that you need to learn to value that shit mm-hmm. for a minute. You get me? Because all this shit is happening, bro. Your earthquake could come right now and all that cars, yeah. all the houses that you got, all that shit that you value so much that you think is like, yo, bro, I need this shit. Yo, that shit is gone in three seconds. Sure, you can have insurance and you can have more money to buy more shit. Cool, bro. I just want you to know that Yo, at the end of the day, nature is ruler of all. At the end of the day, like yo, I'm the not earth here for a long time. <laughs> exactly. And what is it? I'm I'm, I'm only, only here for a good time, not a long time. Exactly. You know, you know what I'm saying? And it's it's kind of fair, but it always comes back to the thing that you hit me with, and you even wrote in the Bible that all you could do is eat good food, drink good wine, and love God. Because I always come back to that because it's so like when I start to trip out about little things, like I'll be like, damn, dog, I don't have this, I don't have like I need to get this shit together, I need to get that shit. I be thinking like, yo. Calm down, bro. It don't even matter. You got much. time, yeah. my G. You get yeah. me? Like, yo, if you don't have time and you and God decides to take your life before you get there, who cares? You know I mean? It didn't even matter, anyways. You dig what I'm saying? Like, live your life right now to, to the best that you can. You get me? Be good to people, love people. Mm-hmm. You get me? Enjoy your life, but don't be trying to, like, overthink shit and overdo shit. You know what I mean? Like, especially now as young people, like, we're just talking about I'm down and, you know, be about it and do shit. Is, don't like let all of this shit that's happening in the world you know what i'm saying be a message to you you know what yeah. i'm saying like yo i don't know how many people die so far in australia but 500 million animals died like, yo imagine 500 million people died think about that shit for a minute like 500 million animals bro that's half a bi- how do you even collect all that burnt stuff and like where do you like what happens think yeah. about shit like that there's a insane there's a psalmist that says uh teaches the brevity of life yeah that we may grow in wisdom. Okay. Basically, what he's saying is, if teach us to remember that we're here for only a short time, yeah. so that we don't make good choices, we make the best choices. Exactly. Because like think about that. it, people usually worry about like, is this good? Is this bad? Mm-hmm. Do I like this? Do I not like this? Yeah. But even among there's another level, which is, is this the best choice I can make now? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so a lot of times, in, in the Bible teaches you that this. Even Jesus teaches you to pray like this. He yeah, says, yeah. "Give us this day our daily bread." Mm. He, he didn't say pray this for day. tomorrow. Yeah, this day. Because tom- tomorrow has its own problems. Yeah, yep. He's like, when you pray to God, pray that this day, today, yep. Yep. right? And, and maybe you don't subscribe to faith. But the whole idea is, uh, you know, all I got is today. Yeah. That's what they call it, the present, right? The whole yeah, cliche. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. so it's like, you know, if we learn to live, as you mentioned it, because you can look at all these disasters and be depressed. Yeah. Right, and they're sad, and if you can help, help. Yeah, yeah. Or you can look at all the disasters and say, "Man, yeah. I'm just grateful that I'm here today." Mm-hmm. All right, because think about Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico just got like uh, three earthquakes, earthquakes yeah. and back to back to back. Mm-hmm. Right, you're seeing what's happening with Iran. Yeah. You're seeing what's happening in Australia. Yeah. We saw and we're seeing yeah. one of the biggest tragedies with the Amazon. Yeah. Right, so you can look at all these issues, and then if you want to talk about backyard, California has forest fires that crazy yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. So. You can look at all of that and say, you know what, I'm going to amass and amass and amass. But you're not going to be here tomorrow. So make sure you're living a life that matters. Get your stuff and get your money and get your success. But make sure that your life has purpose and it's fulfilling. Right. Like, yo, that word right there is is like the the perfect word for 
for every moment in everybody's life is purpose. You get me? Like, if you don't have purpose, you're going to continue to chase shit that is purposeless. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? And you're going to continue to chase shit that means nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to find what that is that fulfills you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that real, like, what's that real to you? That drives you. Like, what's real yeah. to you? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it that you enjoy doing? Like, like even, even, like, even to do little things, right? Like, like today, right? I'm going to make this as, as practical as I can right now for anybody. Yo, start doing the things that you enjoy. Look, you may have bills up to here, right? And you may be in debt up to here. And you may be, like, going through all this shit. But, yo, don't stress about the things that, for one, you cannot control, right? Only worry about the things that you can control. Because, for example, Australia's going through a gang of fires, right? I see people tweeting, oh, you nobody cares. Or, Why are we not talking about this? And yada, 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 right? It's like, okay, I get it. You're trying to put the message out there. But why use that kind of tone, that kind of energy for what? Like, like what? It, let me ask you something. If you donated, cool, you donated. You get me? And that's that's perfect. But like coming on and like you know continuing to like put this like narrative mm -hmm. of like oh nobody cares like yo, it's not that nobody necessarily cares. You get me? But it's like what what are we gonna do to an extent? You get me? Like some people just can't do anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, Chris Hemsworth right now donated one million dollars. If you look at it from a perspective point of view, the fact that you have a million dollars just to donate. Is amazing. Yeah. Like you have that much money to donate. Amazing. You know what I'm saying? And again, some people will have a fucked up perspective. Oh, but he's just doing that because he's gonna get the money right back. Like, no. look, when yeah. Drake did the God's plan thing and he gave up almost people a million, were still bashing. People were like, oh, but he only thought he's gonna get the money right back. First of all, no. Let, let's get let's get this perspective to go right. You you get a paycheck right, and they take away the taxes in your paycheck. That's because the IRS doesn't trust you enough for you to be responsible enough to pay your taxes at the end of every mm. year, at the beginning of every year for the previous year, right? That's number one. So when it comes down to you donating something, you could write something off. It's not that you got that money back. It's that like you don't get to give a million dollars. So then anything you got to keep a million dollars more, yeah. but not necessarily that. No, but e even so, like like, that, but like dude, all those families, those people got blessed. And he's thinking, yo, tax break. Thinking we got a blessing. We got blessed. Like think about exactly. it. Hemsworth gave a million. Uh, there, a Hillsong, uh, as a church collectively, yeah. is already up to s almost six hundred fifty thousand dollars. My goodness. And then people are gonna go, oh, but it's a million dollar church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you give six hundred fifty thousand? Exactly. Because we're always looking at the downside of things yeah. instead of just celebrating the small victories. And and. You know what? If you don't have a purpose right now, make the purpose for the next couple of weeks, the next couple of months, be positivity. Mm -hmm. Think about just being more positive. You get me? Don't be quick to point out people's flaws. How about be quick to compliment somebody? You get me? Or make somebody feel good. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that. Because at the end of the day, bro, just take all these shits that's happening, all these tragedies, and don't just tweet about it. Don't just talk about it. Don't just repost shit. But really start getting a new point of view on this shit. You get me? Because most of y'all just retweet, repost, and just keep living your lives. Mm -hmm. And nothing ever happened. Like, mm -hmm. for what? What are you doing all this shit for? You, me? Stop you got a couple all, likes. That's somebody. fake. You got yeah. me? All you're doing is fake. You're trying to be part of the crowd. You're trying to like look woke. Stop being fake. You got me? If you're going to do this, at least change that perspective. Change that narrative. Some people are like, oh, I don't have the platform to talk about it. Motherfucker, you have an Instagram. Talk about it. Who knows who you reach? You get me? You don't know that shit. People I, think if you have one follower, you have a platform. Yeah, like people think because, oh, I don't get likes. I don't get views. Like, yeah, yo, you know how many videos I watch? That I don't like on YouTube. Or comment. I don't comment on you. I don't do any of that mm -hmm. shit. It's not because I'm hating. Like I don't like. I just don't remember. I'm, I'm not like like YouTube is not a platform where I'm just doing this. You know, like Instagram is a platform where you're doing this. You get me? Like you, you'll double tap. YouTube is not that kind of platform. Yeah, you, you know watch and then up next. Exactly. That, yeah. that that's really what you're on. So again, guys, change your perspective. You know what I'm saying? Use these things that's going on in the world right now and change. Try to change your perspective because there's so many people in the world right now that shit happens to and they continue to live their lives because like yo, this shit's gonna happen. I can't control it. This is part of life. This but we is, get back up. But we get back up and we keep it moving because as a human race, that's all you can do. We, uh, I was asking you this as like, yeah, as a human race, are we moving forward? Are we moving backwards? Like, like it, it, all these questions and that's definitely for another episode. But for right now, you know, starting off the year and if you're watching this and you stay this long, be positive, my G. And hopefully we're giving off some type of positivity because, you know, I love to talk that shit. I love to say some shit here and there and it's jokes and I say it, but I think that like when, when it's about this and it's real, like really start to think about that shit. Change your perspective. You know what I mean? Because a new year and I'm not really that person like with new year resolutions, you know, like people are like, oh, new year and I'm going to start the gym now, bro. You got to do this shit. No, no, I'm canceling my membership. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there we go. That's a good resolution right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man so that's all I got to say well, I, th I, think, I think you got a pretty good one in there uh, that, that was that was decent that right? was pretty good that was decent. so I close it out my guy come on thank you thank you for another year of support thank you for every like for every comment for every view whether it was the whole episode a couple of 30 seconds 
We appreciate your time. It's valuable to us. Uh, love you. Be positive. Think big. Work hard. God bless America.